Hello everyone, welcome back to Control. We just defeated the fridge boss. Not sure if that was a boss. Well, I mean, it was a boss, but... That was, I'm pretty sure this is just a side quest. So we have to go talk back to Linkston. Philip, unfortunately, died. Oh, that was a really quick load, okay. So yeah, unfortunately, he did not survive. Um, thank you. How'd it go? Where's Philip? Philip's gone. Something happened before I could get him out. Poor Philip. You never did like fridge duty. But if you're here, then who's watching the fridge? The fridge is fine now. I took care of it. You don't just take care of altered items. What did you do? I touched it and wound up in the astral plane. This thing was in there. It was huge, had one big eye. Wasn't friendly. We've been getting reports from the astronauts lately about something fitting that description. The astral plane is usually connected to our world through objects of power, not altered items. If this thing is linking itself to altered items, then it's clearly powerful. This may happen again. Do you think that thing is what got Philip? Must have been. The Panopticon is a dangerous place. The agents all know the risks. But, since you're some sort of altered item whisperer, I've got a list of others for you to corral. Okay. The hiss are causing containment breaches left, right, and center. Here, start with these. I'll see if there are any others missing while you're gone. My life just got a whole lot easier. I heard that. I heard that. Okay. So now we... Later, now we got Cyclist? Ooh, we got a trophy. What did I just pick up? I got a bunch of junk. Oh, we got ability points too. That's awesome. Cleanse and contain a Japanese paper lantern, traffic light, hand chair, moving light. Okay, this sounds awesome. But are they going to have bosses like that? Because... We'll do the side quest, honestly. Oh, we didn't actually pick up any collectibles. Okay. Oh, they're all in different parts. Okay, so... The traffic light is in the pan. Oh, I can look at the map, right? I gotta find the traffic light. So do I just walk around until I find it? What? Come on. Wait, is there a his cluster here? Because why are they getting help? Ouch. I'm just going to continue on my way. Wait, we need traffic light. Traffic light. I think I remember seeing the traffic light, but I don't know where that was. That might be on floor two. Traffic light. So where is the, oh, there's a whole area over there. 
medical wing. Okay, let's go back. Did they disappear? Or did they come back? They just like keep spawning, don't they? It's very annoying. Keep coming! This is so a nuisance, in my opinion. Why is he not dying? Okay. Why? Okay, I'm just leaving. This is annoying to me. I hate when enemies just keep spawning for like a hundred years. Also, we got abilities that are now glitched because there's like enemies coming. Okay. I think I'm going to do... The seas. I really like the seas control. There we go. I don't know if they can hurt me. Medical wing, upper panopticon. Logistics, and then go to security. Okay, I think I'm just gonna... Ow, that actually still hurts me. Hurry up, open! Alright, we're gonna go through here. We are almost dead. Let's go to the medical wing. We can at least do one of these. Moving ladders and executive. Cause yeah, and I don't know where this, well the sealed threshold hall is somewhere I haven't been yet. Oh. Really? All they do is fly now. Come on. Ryan, girl. Where's the way out? I don't remember. I know where it is. It's right to that door. I'm just going. What? What killed me? Okay. Maybe I'm not gonna do these side missions. I'm just wasting time. I'm just wasting time. Like... <laughs> okay. You know what, we're not doing those missions right now. I keep... Why do I keep pressing pause? It's because it seems like that should be this menu. Okay. Enough of me getting annoyed. Are we going to just continue on in the story? Which is in executive. So yeah, let's go. Oh, we... S Was that only like one ability point? Oh. So we can also add our levitation. But I don't really like levitating that much. So let's do... These are... Oh, that's only two. 
Let's do this. Launch large enemies when their health is low. Woo, we are almost done with the launching. That sounds nice. Okay. Fast travel to executive. Where is that? All the way up here. Oh, we can actually go here because that's where... I think this is where one of the items was. Was that? Let's see. Another loading screen. Here, let me pause it for you guys so you don't have to watch that whole thing. All right. Let me now open this up. Clans to contain the moving letters. Is that here? Yeah, dead letters. Yes. No normal piece of paper. Oh, it's that. Ouch. Okay. We need to know where it's going. What? What am I supposed to be doing? It's gonna come here. Oh, that lady scared me. Oh, how did I miss this? I missed this at the very beginning of the game. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive. Cataloging the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail will provide an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from the more functional purposes, the archive will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the paranormal world. The letters came to us from various places and times, gathered by the Postal Service as undeliverable. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranormal events, but even the erroneous ones allows us insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze the letters for any information or suspected connection to AWEs and other altered materials. So thanks again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. Okay. I'm not sure what to do with... What? Why did these spawn here? Who's shooting me? Oh. This thing is going crazy. Okay, come on. Ow. So, are the enemies... Was that unrelated? Because it seemed like this thing started going crazy. Alright, let me see if I can figure this out. Hold on a second. Okay guys, I did it. I just stood here and then it just didn't move and I just held square on it. So, yeah. Like, I... 
Wait, there's more pages? Oh, hello. Excuse me. Don't you know it's rude to linger? There's so many enemies. Where would the other letters be? It says dead letters, maybe in here? Have I watched this? Just look at it. Eight inches wide. Eight yes, inches we've seen that, okay. Oh, we can go in there. We have never been in here. This is, ah, clearance two door, okay. Fake planes. Airplanes aren't real. I figured out how they do it. The windows are TV screens. The whole thing moves on big tracks like a roller coaster that moves through underground tunnels in the earth. Airports are more like train stations. They do this because the sky is full of monsters that they don't want us to know about. The planes we see in the sky are the monsters. The government made the earth trains look like the monsters so they could lie to us better. Don't contact me. Yep, yeah, that's... That's true. Can I like go up there? Oh, I think there's one in there. How do I get up there? There's a door. Oh, through here maybe? Like up here? No. Maybe I have to levitate up there? I don't know if I can go that high. It's like really high. <gasps> I can! Wow. Oh, that is one, okay. Slowly, slowly. Ah. Uh, Where is it? There we go. What? Back up a little. How did I do it? It was literally just like this. There we go. Yeah, you just kind of have to be a little bit back, I think, so it doesn't. One more page. One more. Um, that door? Did anyone else just see that? Dear elected official, thanks for, to the recent smoking ban in my state, I am happy to inform you I will not be voting for you in the next election. As everyone knows, smoking is being banned because the smoke is toxic to the aliens that the government sold our planet to in a secret deal. If humans keep smoking, the aliens won't be able to live on Earth. Our air would be poison to them. If you government traitors can't stop people from smoking, then you won't get your millions of dollars from the aliens. I have a website. People know what's going on. We're going to keep smoking no matter what. This is a national emergency. Politicians are handing the planet over to alien overlords. We won't let you. We will resist. I will smoke forever. Signed, a proud smoker, rebel slash patriot. Ugh. I hate smokers. It's just gross. Like, I don't care if you do it in your home, but don't litter. That's just the part I don't like. It's just the littering. Can I 
is so many... These are just random things. Dear gentlemen of the Society of Sciences, it has been some time since I sent my initial letter. I hope it is not the case that you have dismissed my claims outright. In that hope, I am writing you to once more ask for your help in understanding the oddity that has befallen me in my home. I have recently begun renting a new apartment in the city. The space is nothing special, though for a time I find the isolation quite soothing. Recently, I have begun experiencing a strange occurrence. When I'm in the kitchen, a tiny little thing with not much but a sink, I sometimes lose myself. My surroundings change. I find myself standing on strange dark stone. I stare out at a colorless sky, as white as undisturbed snow, terrified and moving. Perhaps this is a brain issue. I think not, as it feels terribly real. This has been occurring for some months now, and I have become frightened of entering the kitchen. If it's not too much of an inconvenience, I would clearly appreciate a visit from one of your professionals to see what they make of it. I await your response with little expectation, but with great hope. Very yours truly, Lorraine Fitzgerald. Okay, where is the last letter? Oh. We can go up there, can't we? Oh, it's right up there, I think. This, okay, maybe I should put points to levitating. It seems like it gets me to secrets. Wait. Wow, yeah. Look at that. This is awesome. Okay. Cat clock. My clock is shaped like a cat and its eyes move and I think it's angry but I keep apologizing and it won't stop. But I said I'm sorry, 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 sorry. But it won't leave me alone and I don't know what it wants. I can't keep apologizing. For do you see it now too? It told me everyone is here and I need to be careful so they don't see me writing this letter. It wants me to stay with it with my eyes on its eyes and moving very fast but I can't keep going and I worry they will forget about Meso and D to write you about this because I can't keep going. The cat will because of its eye. She died. All right. I won't be surprised if more enemies spawn up here. They just love to spawn. Pinstripe world. I'm a plaid suit in a pinstripe world. I'm a plaid suit in a pinstripe world. Oh, that's what this all says. Interesting. This is really cool, I will admit. Hello, vending machine. The letter's not over here? Let's go up some more then. I heard breathing. Oh. Hello, last letter. It ends up right here. Did we get it? There we go, okay. His node mission. All right, we did that. Let's see what we got. Black rock paneling suppresses the item's effect. A stack of four envelopes, each containing a single piece of paper. All four letters are out illegible due to extreme water damage. The envelopes curiously do not show any sign of such damage and are covered in messages of love. The items are able to move short distances at a pace of less than and always in a direction. This is the first altered item to have multiple separate parts, a fact previously believed to be an impossibility. A proposal to take the items outside the oldest house and follow their movement is to its final destination is under consideration with the budget committee. Items are found in the dead letter archives where the herd ar archivist Found it attempting to escape a filing cabinet. She reports having no record of the items in her archive of letters. That's what we just read, and we just got... Hey, you have questions and the prophets have your answer. If you are truly intrigued, watch the time. We've lost about 45 dates in the past four years. The shortening of days. This is why the Vatican is a sundial and almost simultaneously a keyhole. Another thing while I'm here, if you want the secret to everything, compare plasma next to brain cells. The sun and moon are composed of plasma. Simply light, not planets. 
After this is cemented in your psyche, ponder the current whereabouts of where you are. I and humanity reside. Cheers! Okay, you weirdo. <laughs> okay, is there anything else here? Because we're going to move on to, um, go to, an ooh, hello. We're going to go to Emily. Well, actually, this video is about to be over, so. We didn't do a whole lot. Vivid dreams. I think that's the last one. To the esteemed members of the American Psychiatric Council, I am writing you to inquire about the significance of dreams in relation to one's mental health. I am aware that there are many books purporting to contain the true meanings of dreams, but I have reservations about their legitimacy. I understand that this is not usually done, but if I would greatly appreciate your thoughts on my condition. Ever since I was young, I have intensely vivid dreams. They only occur sporadically, but in them I witness very strange events. I understand dreams can seem real at the time, but these feel markedly different. They do not occur often, perhaps only one or two a year. Last night I had one. I saw a small, empty town. It was utterly dark. There was a lake at its center. Shadows of people moved around me, muttering odd things. A bright light woke me up. I was screaming in my sleep. My wife had been shaking me for minutes before I woke. Because of this recent incident, I have decided to seek help. The doctor says I am physically fine, but I wanted to consult your expertise. Thank you for your valuable time. Yours very sincerely, Richard Balker. Oh, there's this. All right, so yeah, I think this is a whole room. Okay, let's go back down without dying. And I still don't know how levitating it down slowly actually works. Am I going the right way? I think I just walked in a circle. Yeah, I could have still kept going down, I think. Oh, okay. Well, this is where I levitated up last time. Yeah, there we go. That's really cool. Okay, where is... Where is Emily? Oh yeah, we have to teleport to her. Oh, I think I just go to the cafeteria, I think, right? Where is the fast travel? Wasn't it right here? Oh yeah, it's right here. Okay, I was like, what? Fast travel. Woo! Let's see, it's probably gonna do a cutscene, maybe? I wonder what's gonna happen with her brother. Oh, she's in the boardroom. What is all that? Okay, I'm gonna actually end the episode here. So I will see what those two things are and the boardroom is speaking with Emily in the next video. Bye everyone!